see, having you not used this software in so long. Okay. So, and it's on the wrong screen. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Um, originally, this was going to be a longer talk, so we're skipping a bunch of slides. So there have been 10 plus years of open historical map. The original concept was really simple. We would use the OSM software stack. We would use an end date tag as well as a start date tag. And maybe we would play with a renderer and get a slider so we could change the time. Well, the time slider alone required us to build a whole new vector rendering engine. There's no way to get tile to get raster tiles to work. And then skipping over stuff. And what we also discovered was that we needed to stick within the OSM schema for a lot of reasons, but there were things that we had to change. And I know some people are a little sensitive because they think that open historical map is somehow going to diverge from open street map tagging, and really it's not. Um, we use OSM tags whenever possible, which is nearly all the time. And we will always prefer an OSM tag if there is one, but we do have requirements that OSM doesn't have. And so we have to make some changes. And here's a motivator for why we're not going to change much. This is a leaflet that I wrote. Its purpose is to display both historic and current racetracks. And this is Watkins Glen, New York, where they've been racing since 1948. Now, what I do is I display OpenStreetMap and then leaflet my widget Oak Queries Overpass. And because the tagging is identical in both OSM and OHM, I don't have to write any specialized code. I just issue the same overpass query to both instances of overpass, and then I have exactly the same processing of the return data. And that alone is so powerful that we absolutely are not going to be deviating from OSM tagging unless we have to, because we don't want to give up the compatibility. But there are... Let's skip over that. The start date page states that we use ISO 8601 in OSM, but then there's a section labeled approximations and absolutely nothing in approximations is ISO 8601. It's an ad hoc thing somebody invented because 8601 didn't do approximations. There is an 80 so one dash two, which was written later and is now a standard, and it does approximations. So skip, skip. So there's a open standard called VDTF, extended date time format, which is based on 8601. And open historic map is going to be using EDTF. It's a standard, it's an open standard. And so this is a case of divergence. We are not going to use the approximation section of the start date page at all. And this shouldn't really matter because nobody is actually using start date for anything as far as I know, except open historical map. The other thing that has happened in relations, OHM turns out to lean heavily into relations because when you're dealing with historic data, there's enormous value in decoupling geometry from metadata because a lot of times the geometry will recur over the years and things that need to be represented as different things. A highway was a dirt track, it became paved, so the pavement type changes as classification may change. Um, states reroute highways all the time. And so we use relations heavily. There's an OSM API limit on relation nesting, which is mildly annoying, but can be worked around. And then the final thing, we have been working in a, for documentation, we've been working in an OHM corner of the wiki for a long time. 
And so the OHM specific items are buried there. They're not very visible to the OSM community. So it's easy to see why people wouldn't really know what's going on. So the question is, should we start documenting OHM things in the larger OSM space, basically saying this is an OHM variant, for example. Min already did that. He created a new relation type chronology for OHM. And that is out there documented in the OSM relation space for people to look at. And it's possible that maybe we should step outside of our little OHM corner and start documenting things out in OSM space and just have some tagging on the page saying this is an OHM thing. And I'm throwing that out there for discussion. It's not going to be a result of the day because my talk is ending now. <laughs> Thank you.